Hi everyone. Uh, today we will learn about how to create a new table, new custom table and how to relate it to a another table. Like in our previous video, we have discussed about parent and child table relation and how to make scripting in between them. So today we will uh, we'll know how to establish the relation between them. So how to configure relation between two different tables. So for that, now we'll create a new custom table. So for that, we are navigating to tables under system definition. So the tables, we have to create a new table. We'll create a new table. So this is an example. So let's take any example to create a new table. I am taking here as courier. So assume this is a courier company related table. So I have given it as name courier and the backend name will be auto populated when change it to it. And here, uh, create new, add module to menu, create new. So the new module will be created in the navigation filter navigator and the new menu name will be courier, okay? So in under controls, we have auto numbering feature. So when we mark this true, so auto numbering will be enabled. The number field will be auto populated on the record of courier. So the number will be like C O U and the number with seven digit like one triple zero one zero one in such way. So let's save this. Then we have design form link here under related links. So we can create fields in that particular form, the new courier table. So let's create some fields in the new table. So the number, as I said, the number field will be auto populated and we can make like two columns here. The option will be here. So I'm making it two columns so that we can add some fields right and left side. So I'm adding a field here. I'll add a string field and I'll add some choices to it. Uh, basically, we have different statuses in courier like you know the dispatch del work status is new in progress so similar way we'll add some choices here and we'll name this field as status and by back name will be as u underscore status any custom field we are creating we have to start with prefix u underscore okay this is the best practice and we'll create some choices here so let's say for any operation the initial stage will be new as it starts new then it's turned to in progress when someone addresses it, it's turned to in progress. So the next stage will be in progress. And as we are discussing it on courier table, so we'll think about terminology we regularly use in courier. So let's use dispatched. So here it is dispatched and the other one is delivered. So I think these terms, terminologies are regularly used in courier language. Okay, so let's give this field and we'll create another field like you know the requested person whoever the person is requested this courier so for that i will refer create a new reference field to user table i will give you here it as requested by so that the requested person will be mentioned here requested okay so we have to give reference here to the user table so that all the members in the user table will be listed in this particular field. And I can give a date field as well here. So it should be like, you know, create a date and deliver date. So we have out of the box field created date. When the any table is created, these fields are auto created, auto created. So we'll give that and we'll add another date field, which is used to deliver date. So this, this is a model table, that's why I'm mentioning all this. So it should look like real time. Delivery it. So let's save this form and see how it is looking like. So form is saved now. Let's reload the page and check for the new table, courier table. So we have to navigate from here, Korean. 
here we will get the table new table for here let's open this since it is a new table no records are there here yet so we will create a record once and check so the number will be auto populated as we have marked auto numbering and under requested by we have to select any user based on that we can do any operations so let's select table tutor here and status is in new Created time will be auto populated. This is the out of the box field. Whenever the form is submitted, whenever a new form is inserted into the service now, so that time and date will be popular, auto populated here. So, based on today's date, let's populate delivery date in future. So, let's select 6 as delivery date and let's submit this. So, a new record in the courier table is inserted. Okay. So, now we will configure a new, we will create a new table, uh, we will create a new table and make a relation between this courier table and that new table. So for that, we will create a new table, uh, we will name it as courier task. So uh, let us assume there is a courier company and they have different tasks, they have to deliver different, different deliveries, different couriers. So for that purpose, we are creating as courier tasks. Okay, courier task. Let's name this as courier task. Then save. We will give auto numbering for this. Here we will give it as CTSK so that it refers courier task. Okay, then all the options are same. Okay, let's save this. Like we have created some fields in courier form, we will design the same in the courier task form. So, now here comes our part to make to establish a relation between this courier table and courier task table. First, we need to uh, get a reference field which is referred to this courier, courier table. Okay, so from courier task, we have to get a reference to the courier table. Okay, so here we will add a reference field. A new reference field. Uh, same likewise, we will make it a two column form. So here under reference field, we will add here the courier. Okay, so that we can establish a relation between two tables. So we have to configure this reference field to courier table, refer to courier table so that the resolution will be established here courier okay then uh, we'll add some more fields like stay same as courier whatever the fields we have in the couriers we'll add similar fields so that we can uh, automate them by using some scripting and client scripts and business rules in the future in our next classes so let's create a status field same as here so let's create a status field so we'll create a string field and we'll add choices in it so let's make it as status And we will create some choices here. Same, whatever we have choices created in that. So we will create here also. In progress. Dispatched. Delivered. Yeah, I think this is fine. We have four options in new in progress dispatched and delivered we have created the same here and okay let's try this first how this is working then we will do automations later so once the form is saved now we have two different tables one is courier table which is this and other one is courier task so we'll search for it we'll reload the page and we'll search for the courier task table I think it is haven't loaded yet. So just refresh and check. Let's check in the tables menu first. Model name will be courier task. So we can also navigate to any table by doing this by entering the table backend name 
and dot list so it will navigate to the table yeah this is courier task table so we have two different tables now let's create a record in this first so state in new and just save it so we have two different tables one is couriers and the other one is courier tasks so we need to establish a relation between these two so this courier table will be behaved as a parent table so this courier record will be behaved as a parent one and this courier task will be behave like a chain so we have to link this chain to this parent so for that we have already created a reference field in this okay so when we created a reference field referred to that courier table let's see this field back end value so it is referred to the courier table already so automatically a relation is, relationship between these two are also created so we can get that related list into this table in this form by just configuring the related list so we have to open related list here we can see courier task okay the relation has been established so this courier task table whatever the courier task table we have created a reference field to the courier table so for that we have received this related list so we have to configure like this and when we save this so it will reflect on the form okay so here you can see the courier tasks so now whatever the courier tasks are there whatever the courier uh, record uh, data we give here it will reflect like this reflect here so let's see let's open courier and let's say only one record is there so far so we'll select this and save this so under this record we'll refresh this record so that you can find the courier task here why because we have made a relationship between okay so similar this way we can create any relationship between uh, two different tables based on our requirement based on use cases so for automating these two tables like we have done in before previous sessions we'll see it in next next sessions so so yeah this is for how to create relationship between two different tables thank you